COVID cases hit new lows in the U.S., even as more lawmakers on Capitol Hill test positive for the virus. Jonathan Sari has more. A wave of COVID-19 cases hitting Washington this week. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Attorney General Merrick Garland, and several White House staffers all testing positive in recent days. Despite the surge, the Biden administration says it does not have plans to change its COVID protocols. We have incredibly stringent protocols here at the White House that uh, we keep in place to keep the president safe, to keep everybody safe. The outbreak comes as new coronavirus infections hit a nine-month low in the U.S. It's a different story overseas, where the BA2 subvariant is fueling a spike in cases in the U.K. and China. Health experts say it's unclear whether the U.S. will see a similar trend. The, the story is not as straightforward as it was with the Alpha, Delta, and the Omicron uh, waves, but it may not necessarily be accompanied with another aggressive wave as, as in the past. Meanwhile, airlines continue to feel the effects of COVID. In the UK, British Airways and EasyJet have canceled hundreds of flights due to COVID-related staffing shortages. Here in the US, Alaska Airlines says 63 fewer pilots were prepared to fly this month. The carrier cited training delays due to the recent Omicron surge. We need to make it easier for people to get their, their pilot's licenses and get through the process. UK scientists are now monitoring the XE variant, but say it's still unclear whether it causes more severe infection. In Atlanta, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.